time, we now have what we wanted. We have what we waited for, uh, at least in, at, at this talk radio audience waited for, and that was a replacement for Antonin Scalia, whose thought process works like Antonin Scalia, and that is Neil Gorsuch. He was sworn in. He's now an associate justice on the United States Supreme Court. Jared Halpern from Fox News Radio is joining us right now. Jared, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you. Uh, I guess everybody's kind of turning their focus now to those cases that will be argued in front of Judge Gorsuch first and, and what we might be expecting to see him rule on the first few cases. Yeah, well, I mean, he personally may not uh, have a big role in writing some of the more um, major opinions. That Sometimes there's a seniority to all of that. But you're right, he's going to start participating right away. In fact, day after tomorrow is a, a conference of the U.S. Uh, Supreme Court. The justices get together in their uh, conference room, and that's when they sort of go over uh, different appeals that have been made, uh, whether or not they're going to grant cases, deny cases. That process starts right away. We also expect uh, Justice Gorsuch to be uh, the ninth uh, justice now for uh, the April seating of this court, the last uh, batch of cases they'll hear uh, before recessing for the summer. And one of them actually uh, getting a lot of attention out of Missouri, that case involving the uh, church preschool and whether or not they can be denied uh, funds for, um, I think it was playground uh, development. Playground equipment, yes, exactly. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and sort of where where the the line between church and state uh, kind of lie, right? So that will be uh, an interesting case from a lot of uh, for a lot of people to see. You know what Justice Gorsuch is thinking may be on that, um, given that one of the 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 reasons that we're told that he was considered by President Trump was nominated by President Trump. Uh, was his uh, his views on some of these religious issues that have come uh, through the appellate uh, court system, including the Hobby Lobby case. Yeah, so just from a technical standpoint, if somebody comes in in the middle of a term like this on the Supreme Court, will will he be able to vote on on arguments that have already been made prior to it's him un- arriving it's there? It's unlikely he would. I, I don't know if there's any specific rules. Usually it's sort of a general practice. Um, it, usually you do not you do not consider cases you you did not participate in. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I thought it'd be easy enough for him to go back and read the transcripts and, and rule on it, but I didn't know if that was something they definitely didn't do or if it was just not uh, their normal policy to do things like that. Um, there had there are also some... You'll like, recall, actually, when um, was it Justice Kagan had to recuse herself from an awful lot of the first cases that came up in her term because she had worked uh, as the Solicitor General. And so those are sometimes issues early on for a justice. It may, probably won't be for, for, for Justice Gorsuch since he was an appeals court judge, uh, but it is not uncommon, especially early on, for a Supreme Court justice to have to say, listen, I can't participate in this one. I know there were several issues that came up that were on working their way on appeal to the Supreme Court. Mm-hmm. There was a transgender bathroom case, I think, out of Virginia. That was sent back down to the lower courts. Okay. Um, that was sent back down to the lower courts uh, because uh, that was a challenge that was sort of sparked because of guidance from the Obama administration. When the Trump administration came in, they changed that DOE guidance. Okay. Um, and so in lieu of that, the Supreme Court sent it back down to be reconsidered sort of under this new guidance. That argument was supposed to have occurred actually um, in March. So even had that not been pulled, uh, that is not a case that Justice Gorsuch would have participated in. The, there are... But listen, that's a big issue, and that's an issue that we expect to eventually reach the Supreme Court, these transgender issues, much the same way that... Um, you know, the last several years have been shaped on the court by same-sex marriage issues. We we believe, a lot of court watchers believe, that some of these transgender cases will start working their way now through the federal system, and it will be something that um, is going to be addressed by the Supreme Court uh, sooner rather than later, you think. Yeah, and Second Amendment issues as well. I know there was a ruling recently concerning the scope of the Heller decision and what um, cities were allowed, what type of weapons they were allowed to ban and how far they could go doing that, that a lot of uh, gun anti-gun activists hailed as some sort of a major victory, but I'm certain that's going to get appealed to the court. And I think there's a case out of San Diego in California, right, that right. has to do with you have to have a compelling reason and, and sort of what those reasons are allowed to be. Yeah, to get a concealed carry permit. Right. I, I remember reading that because somebody had challenged the fact that there were far too many hurdles to prove and that more often than not they were intentionally turned down just because the it wasn't something the government wanted to do. 
Yeah. Yep. And so, yeah, you're right. I mean, so a lot of the issues that I think are going to face Justice Gorsuch are not necessarily new, um, but, uh, you know, certainly uh, the, the court has been for 14 months now without a full complement of justices. They have had a couple of 4-4 situations. That will likely not be the case anymore unless there's, I guess, recusals. Um, and, and so we, I, I think this will be uh, early to see what kind of justice uh, is Justice Gorsuch. You know, you, you, as the president, nominate somebody who you think will sort of uh, have a, a certain, I think, viewpoint, a certain judicial philosophy. Uh, but remember, justices uh, uh, generally uh, serve way longer than the president who nominated them uh, and uh, sometimes uh, flash some independence, sometimes take uh, issue with cases in a way that maybe uh, are unforeseen. And, and we will see if Justice Gorsuch uh, has any surprises, I suppose, sooner rather than later. Yeah, we should find out soon. Uh, Jared Halpern, thanks so much. I appreciate you. Absolutely. All right, take care. Jared Halpern from Fox News Radio giving us a couple of minutes to talk about the Judge uh, Gorsuch there and what he may face first. Um, this case out of California, this is going to be important, and let me tell you why. So in 2009, a guy named Edward Peruta, P-E-R-U-T-A, sued the San Diego County Sheriff's Department for what he claimed was enforcing an unconstitutional policy that required concealed carry applicants to show good cause for the gun permit. And good cause to them was that somebody had uttered a threat to you and you had reason to believe that your life was at risk. And other than that, they wouldn't issue one. And he thought that was too overbearing. So the case made its way all the way up to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. What do we know about the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals? Many, many of their decisions get overturned on appeal. But it did make it up to the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals. And the judges on that bench ruled that, that, that the policy in California does not infringe on a citizen's Second Amendment rights. That's what they ruled in a 7-4 to four decision. And uh, earlier in January of this year, an appeal was filed to the United States Supreme Court uh, claiming that it violates the right to carry guns for self-defense. So that's one of the, that's an example of one of the cases that Neil Gorsuch will get to, to vote on. So that... The, just in time. I mean, he, he's coming in just in time. And we just have to hope that uh, he's going to vote the way we all hope that he is. And we, we didn't get another David Souter on, on our hands. I, I don't think that we did. But I'm just saying um, we have to. It remains to be seen, but it's bound to be better than anything Hillary Clinton would have given us. Do we know that for sure? Say amen. Thank you. Uh, 